Hey yo everyone, welcome back. We're here, Druid, Mod of Redemption. I could already hear the cries. Can't wait to not post the video for a month. That means he quit Chewies. Shut the fuck up, you crybabies. There's more important things in life to worry about than if I continue a series or not. But yeah, we're back in action. I asked people for weapon suggestions. They gave me ones that I can't even get my hands on yet. You love to see it. But I got the most seed bags that I can get right now, which I'm pretty sure I legit have every single one I can get at this moment in time. The rest of them are just further up in progression, aka most of them are post Plantera. There's one other seed bag that I want to make. Can I even make it? I need the little, the little, uh, the, 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 the dude that throws the bombs. There he is. Right here, my boy Norcus. So we need like 30 of these, I think. Okay, so we can make the, the seed bomb. Now, my question is with the seed bomb is, does that thing work the way I expect it to work? Hold up. We're going to take out all the seed bags that are actually like unique and not five death grasp. And then let's see here. Seed bomb. Is it a non-consumable? I have no idea. I'm assuming it's a non-consumable. It better be. There you go. Let's put everything back though. And let's see. If I throw this thing and it consumes, I'm going to be mad as hell. Okay, we're good. We're good. Where'd it go? Okay. It explodes and then there's seeds. It explodes into random seeds. Large seed pouch increases the number of seeds. Look at that. Do I have a large seed pouch? I do actually. Yeah, put that back on. Who would have thought a grenade goes into some boots? What the hell? That's kind of weird. But yeah, I kind of want to test out all these new seed bags here. Uh, so I should fight some bosses. The question is, what bosses? Do I have any, like, cheap bosses laying around? Well, not cheap, but, like, weaker bosses? No, that doesn't count. Our next boss, we are going to fight it this episode, is the Infected Eye. We have to fight it at nighttime. It's before all of the mech bosses. So I'm hoping for success against that one i don't know if i'm gonna wear the current armor i'm wearing or not it's the it's the soul or spirit armor i don't think i am i feel like it just doesn't make sense to wear this spirit armor like ever unless i'm specifically doing spirit classes because like i can still summon this thing in right if i equip something actually no i can't what level do i need i need level five and above i kind of don't even want to use it as like my own weapon or my only weapon so i probably won't use the spirit stuff i don't know you guys are gonna have to like prove me otherwise because like right now i just i just don't see the uh benefit of using the spirit stuff all right let's go fight the wall of flesh i guess you know might as well i was gonna fight like a weaker boss but i don't think i have any other boss spawners sitting around so wall of flesh it is so the new ones that i made here i have oh they're all right here boom titanium one ichor and curse shroom one uh this says throws a capsule that grows a spore releasing ichor shroom the spore inflicts ichor for a long duration and i'm assuming the cursed one does the exact same thing but cursed flames instead and then titanium throws a seed that grows into a sparkling titanium bloom let's see it in action here wow crazy really that's it? it it went away really fast wow crazy <laughs> so that seems like average at best okay what about this thing so it just shoots icor all over the place it's not exactly accurate i'm assuming the same with this one yeah not exactly accurate okay it's all good uh yeah let's let's fight the wall of flesh here hopefully it doesn't beat my ass i don't even remember what weapon i used originally against the wall of flesh oh i think it was this one wasn't it fire blossom okay let's see the fire blossom in action let's also see this i don't remember how this one works this is the one we got from the pirates this like golden apple one it's okay i kind of need seed bags to like shoot at enemies and not randomly uh what about the grenade the grenade does a random effect so like ow i just lost so much health right there what just happened now i gotta sit here and wait to regen this one's actually not bad at all the seed grenade it really is not bad this one i might use during this uh wall flesh fight but yeah i feel like this uh fire blossom one the fact that it homes in and it just does like a bunch of damage kind of kind of good kind of hard to like just not use that one against the wall of flesh all right let's do it let's fight the wall of flesh uh main reason i'm fighting the wall of flesh again is to get the uh what's it called the druid emblem okay you know it's like the summoner emblem is like the mage emblem because you know that extra druid damage would be nice right now that would be nice so there's no reason to not get my hands on that I probably should have brought like regen or something, some mana regen, because now I do not have regen. What about this? Can I throw these? Does this cost mana to throw? I don't think it does. Okay, I might as well throw it then. And then when my mana finally comes back, then we send the fire blossoms back out. Of course, of course. And then, you know, if I run out of mana again, we can switch back to this. We can switch back to the grenade. We got some choices. We got some choices, which is something I always love to have. Hey, I might die. 
Okay, that got kind of close. He kind of got really fast there as he does in expert mode. And I kind of was underestimating that. I also did not have any buffs. So like I didn't have my swiftness potion on deck. But yeah, cool. Not bad. We got some decent weaponry. Uh, some better than others, obviously. But let's see. Do I get lucky? Do I get lucky? Absolutely not. Okay. All right, let's do it. We're fighting the boss. I had to relog the world because another boss was trying to spawn in. I think it was the destroyer was trying to spawn in. So I had to relog real quick. I don't even know if that affects it. Okay, this motherfucker kind of hurts. What the hell? I got hit once and I'm almost dead. All right, let's uh plays carefully it doesn't help that there's other enemies here terraria what the hell i don't know uh, what we're doing against this boss you know this is a trial run okay trial run if i die we die it happens in video games i would rather not die though i'd rather stay alive but if we die we die you know it's legit like i said trial run i have a feeling that this boss probably hits harder than mech bosses for some reason i don't know just seems like something that would happen and from the amount of times i've gotten hit i feel like that is true so far i have a feeling there's gonna be like a really hard second phase that's about to come out and destroy me watch it's coming i know it is i know how these bosses work all right, let's, uh, I don't even know what to, like, use, honestly. For weaponry, I've just been spamming random stuff, hoping it's working. It's been kind of working so far, I think. He's, like, at half health. I have not been paying attention if there's, like, a pattern at all during this boss fight. Just kind of doing what I do against bosses, and that's run away. Hope I kill it while running away. And hope I don't get hit while running away. What's up with the music? Did the music, like, reset there, or is this a part of the track? I'm gonna go ahead and activate the right click of this staff. Completely forgot there's even a right click on this one. I did actually get the uh, Druid Emblem with the other Wall of Flesh or doll I had. So that's very nice. Literally, I did it like a minute before this boss spawned. I had enough time. Boom. Boss dead. Nice and easy. Okay, that wasn't that bad. It, when it did hit us, though, it did kind of hurt. It did like around 100 to hit. Uh, a nuke has been dropped. Hold up. What? What does that mean? You don't, you don't just type that into her. You don't just have that message. Yet. Do I fight the twins? Can I fight the twins? I, I might as well. There's no reason to not fight the twins. If I die, I die, you know? At least we're getting some experience against the boss. This boss, the twins actually hit in weaker than the other boss. What the hell? Are they sure they got the boss order right? Is it, that, that boss is supposed to be before mechs. Okay, actually, I'm, I'm taking the damage now. I'm feeling the damage now. Not gonna lie, I hate the twins. I feel like the twins is probably my worst boss. Uh, oh, did he get hit by that star? I feel like the twins are definitely my worst boss. I just suck at fighting them. I don't know. I, I feel like I can take Prime easily. The destroyer is the destroyer. You know, it, it goes with that one. But I feel like the twins are always the one that beats my ass. But let me try my best here to, you know, do the strats. Single one out, of course. Always the strat with the twins. Okay, I'm at half health. Not looking the greatest here. I'm just kind of like switching between random weapons, hoping that it works. I mean, this been working so far. Minus, like, you know, almost being dead. Or Maybe that's the problem right now, is that I'm switching between too many weapons. I have too many options, and I'm using too many options. Instead of just sticking to one weapon. And because of that, you know, I'm not put outputting the max damage I could be putting out. 100% possible. If I beat this boss fight, I'll play the rest of this video naked. IRL. I'm dead. I I'm pretty much dead. If I could just, like, you know... Oh, he got me right in the ass. Retinazer, wasn't it the spasmatism that killed me? See, now even Terraria is lying. You hate to see it. All right, let's see what we got in the treasure bag. We got anti-crystallizer serum. Makes you immune to xenomite for a while. Uh, we got xenomite itself. Awesome. I'm probably getting radiation poisoning. We got a mystic xenomite staff. Wow, look at that. Uh, we got a javelin and we got a anti-crystallizer band. Makes you immune to all xenomite infections. I am not liking the sound of any of this stuff. Sounds like we uh, might get infected or something. I don't know. It's a little ominous to say the least. Okay, hold up. Is this used for anything in terms of uh, druid? Ah, look at that, a shield. Ooh. I don't know what the hell starlight is. Other than that, I'm not seeing too much. There's some wings. Those wings might be decent. Everything else looks okay, even though it's not even for me. So I don't really know if I could even say that. But apparently there's a nuke somewhere. I'm assuming the nuke is like a meteorite. That's what I would assume. So maybe I have to go look around the world, go find where a nuke landed. I don't know. Let me check the wiki first before I just do that. I found the nuke or wherever the hell this is. Look at that. Stats greatly decreased due to radioactivity. You love to see it. 
Would I even replace, bro? I don't know. Replace that. We're getting already attacked by things. Am I slowly dying? But yeah, we here. We're here where I found it. Uh, I checked literally every other side of the world, or the whole other side of the world, it wasn't there. And of course, it was literally like right next to us where we beat the boss. I am not doing any damage to these enemies. Let's think about this for a second. I really don't even have like hard mode weapons still. Like our hard mode weapons are a little ass. The ones that I do have, so uh, we'll see how well we get through this here. These enemies just straight up are not dying though. I want to see what they drop, so I want to kill them. Okay, I killed one enemy. I don't even think they dropped. <laughs> but I killed one. One of them did die. Okay, yeah, I don't know about this. Okay, where's like this whole biome at? Okay, here we go. We got some stuff here. What is this block? Irradiated ebon stone. Why am I even here? What the hell am I even doing here? Oh, there's starlight. Okay. Maybe that's why I'm here. Get our hands on some starlight. Maybe enemies drop starlight, but I can't fucking kill them. I don't see any other starlight. Well, uh, might as well look at it since I have a piece. Oh, I'm about to be assaulted. My pre-hard mode weapons doing more damage than my hard mode weapons. Do you, you love to see it? Do you hate to see it? I don't know. All right, back to what I was doing before I was rudely interrupted. Starlight. Does this make armor for us? No, not really. It makes the shield for us, which honestly I kind of want because it's a dash shield upgrade like come on that's like my favorite accessories is dashing shield upgrades do i die if i step in the water i'm gonna step in the water ah i die yeah this is this cool biome it's a cool idea for a biome but like i really need some weapon upgrades bro ow can i get hit by my own grenades what the hell i didn't even know that all right yeah i'm gonna explore more of this i guess hopefully find some more starlight something and uh, I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, some random dude appeared. His name is Adam. Cool. What is he? The friendly T-Bot. I came up here to farm some wyvern stuff, but I don't, he just appeared. So, you know, might as well talk to him. He sells a hazmat suit. He sells Xeno eyes. Cool. Gas mask. Okay, he sells the whole fit. He sells starlight. Oh, okay. Actual good NPC? Question mark. Hey, you might die though. Wait, no, he's going to ruin my harpy farming. <laughs> Or not harpy farming, my wyvern farming. I'm trying to get some wyvern stuff, you know, not only for the wings, but for this right here. Pretty much right now, I'm just trial and erroring a bunch of weapons, seeing which ones are good, which ones are not. It is time. I'm wearing the spirit armor. I said I wasn't going to wear it, but I feel like it's going to be good against the destroyer just because of this little dude right here. Oh, yes. Am I wrong or am I right? Oh, come on. Keep attacking that one spot right there. Keep on attacking that one spot. Okay, let's try out some other weapons here. Let me try out this dandelion weapon i have here this should like le legit rain hell okay maybe not hell maybe if he's allergic maybe hell maybe he's got allergies that shit's gonna hurt but like let me try out a few weapons here it is the destroyer 1.3 destroyer well actually i don't know did they buff 1.4 destroyer i don't know relogic always says they buff bosses and then nothing ever happens golem great example uh but yeah it shouldn't be too hard of a fight just because this is a destroyer I should keep summoning this little wyvern dude. He's going to help us out the most. Just keep just planting stuff. When I'm out of mana, boom. I should right click the little guardian out. What is that? There's an unstable portal. What is that? I kind of want to kill it. I hope it doesn't spawn anything when I kill it. Actually, that might be something we're looking for. Let me see. It didn't drop anything when I killed it. Okay. Yeah, I pretty much got like all the weapons available to me. And I'm just testing them out. Seeing which ones are good. Because honestly, it feels like we don't have exactly the strongest weapons right now. Maybe that's just because we're at the beginning of hard mode. Yeah? Bound to happen when you enter hard mode at the beginning. You know, you're going to be weak. That's usually how it is. But like, I don't know. For modded classes, you're usually pretty strong. You usually snowball really hard. But this might just mean that the druid class is actually like decently balanced at the beginning of hard mode these unstable portals i swear we need those for something like they might drop something that i need all right i might as well find another one no reason not to bring the boy out oh we spawned over here hold up hold up i'm coming i'm coming i don't know what i should use against him like the most uh we'll try the dandelions again i feel like these damn bots it's always the, the minions the damn probes are always the ones that get you. And then I just gotta make sure I keep on spawning in this little dude. This little dude does a lot of damage. So, like, the spirit stuff isn't too bad. Just because of that guy right there. Honestly, I might do this real quick. Boom, switch this out. And now maybe our little spirit guy is even stronger. If we had the crimson version of the uh, of this accessory, we would do i -Core, I think. We would apply i -Core. That would actually not be too bad. Really so uh, that, that kind of might have been something I should have got my hands on. And boom. 
Destroyer number two dead. Sweet. All right, we made some progress this episode. You love to see it. Uh, when is the next boss? Kingslayer three. Okay, but we have the abandoned lab coming up. Nice. I've been wanting to explore that spot. So yeah, we're probably not gonna get done fighting these two bosses in this episode. But maybe next one, we kill the two mech bosses really quickly. Boom. Hit up the abandoned lab. We'll go from there. Probably won't fight Kingslayer, but you know we'll make some progress anyways. I have been trying to kill monsters in this biome over here. They're really really strong, so I'm trying my best to kill them. And uh, you know if we do kill them, they give us some goodies, which is nice. And those goodies obviously can help us uh i've been trying to make like a shield uh, it's an upgrade of this boom infected thorn shield i'm very close to making this i just need the xenomite and we're good to make it because look i made this right here xeno forge forge xenomite amazing but yeah there you go i don't know maybe i'll try and make these accessories and then we end the episode off I'm trying to just get this episode off so you guys uh won't bitch about it but uh let's let's see what i could do here all right this the, this the end of the video right here i'm gonna make these two accessories starting with the oh wait hold up i need the, the cthulhu shield in here starting with this shield infected thorn shield minus two defense uh double type of direction to dash increased damage inflicts infection upon dashing to an enemy releases acid like sparks as you move very cool it's an expert item too bam there goes that defense we had and then there's another shield we can make called like blooming something blooming luck Actually, I don't know if it is a shield. Yeah, it has to be. It's using cobalt shield. Boom. Uh, this one. Grants immunity knockback. 5% increased druidic damage. Slightly increases the chance of finding rare and epic drops. That's pretty cool. I'm replacing the belt pouch or whatever. Bye-bye belt pouch. Well, actually, maybe there's a better accessory to get rid of. Like, do I need to throw out multiple seeds still? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Probably don't need the large seed pouch, if I'm being honest. Maybe we do that. I don't know. We'll work with the accessories. <clears throat> but there you go. There's that. So hopefully we get more luck. See what it looks like. Oh, it looks cool. Poggers. What about this one? You also hold this one? Yeah, you do. All right. I'm going to end the episode off here. Remember, leave weapon tips and stuff. Leave weapon tips around the area I'm at. Because like I said earlier in the episode, I think I did. People left weapon tips like throughout hard mode rather than like where i'm at so this is the area i'm at twin skeleton prime abandoned lab leave some tips around here i'll see y'all next time Bye bye